Right, hello everybody, welcome to the semi-final of the Chance Ladder uh, playoffs, season 11. It is Ducky versus Elliot. Um, Ducky won the toss, chose to receive, he's got his lizard man. And uh, yeah, um, right, let's have a look. Right, we'll pause it here. So he, 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 did the, he got the high kick, so he got the catch. Right, that's interesting. Hello, last frogman. Um, so Elliot was down TV and he went with a wizard and um, Glart smash rip who isn't that one, it is actually the star one here, who has Block, Claw, Juggernaut, Strength 4, Blitzer. And uh, he also went with a Babe and Bomber Dribble Snot. Now, I would have probably gone with just, uh, you know, Fez Glitch rather than Bomber Dribble Snot and, uh, and the thing. But I mean, I guess he's just, he's a throwaway line, line goblin. So it's fair enough he, he, he was he went safer whereas i would have kind of hoped to just dominate the other you know because obviously ducky's got so much strength oh the air uh, skills have disappeared so ducky's got so much strength that like i thought that would have been a good shout to be honest having uh having the the fanatic there man but on the other hand he's lax guard so maybe the the fanatic would have been a liability so maybe he did the right thing not taking the fanatic there uh, let's have a look at, at Elliot's teams. It, it's actually, to say he's got the finals underworld, you'd expect him to have like two legend claw pommers and a claw pom, uh, you know, a claw pom troll or, or a claw pom thrower or lineman or something. But he's actually got hardly hardly anything in the way of skills. He's got this random wrestle guy. I'm surprised he put the wrestle guy in the OS. He's got two sacrificial lands and then a, a wrestle uh, two heads guy. Maybe he should have put a rookie on the OS there. Um, rookie thrower. A strength five line line rat is obviously with block is a crazy player. So like that's actually pretty good. The, but the weakness is of course he's armor seven. Uh, he's got a troll here with block guard claw, which is obviously you know gives him a chance to get lucky. Cl one claw palm. The other one's only got tackle. Um, and he's got blodge lineman and a block kind of agility four, seeing as he's got uh, accurate. <laughs> two heads and extra arms he's basically paid three skills to make him agility four <laughs> for 20 more tv which is pretty funny but he's essentially got an agility four block thrower um ducky's team on the other hand looks completely amazing with uh, a couple of sidestep skins which is always nice 13 players both got 13 players thanks to this uh two star players that elliot got um he's got this super skink here Blodge, sure hands, movement 10, obviously amazing. Uh, the only thing it's missing is edge 4, really, but apart from that, it would be the perfect skink, probably. Uh, well, you know, one one way to build a perfect skink. He's got two rookie Saurus. He did have, uh, he did have like, block guard, mighty blow on these Saurus, but they, they died during the course of the tournament. Block guard, mighty blow, two of them left. Block guard, stand firm, strength 6 Croxagore is amazing, obviously. Block, break, tackle, uh, frenzy tackle. So he's got a really good guy for knocking down like dodge, dodgy people. Um, though he hasn't got mighty blow on him. And block, guard, stand firm, strength five. So he's got two. He's basically got two blood, block, stand firm, Croxigors here. It's unbelievable, unbelievable, strong team. Very good pitch control team. <laughs> people, some people have said uh, Nurgle or a control team and I've mocked them but he's actually got a really good pitch control team here with all the strength and guard you know, four guard versus one but he only has three mighty blow um, whereas Elliot has a claw guy, a claw mighty blow and a claw palm so he, he can certainly get lucky right? but obviously from the looks of the teams he's got to get lucky I, I would say Ducky starts off with the three dice with Mighty Blow. And gets a Kaz. Standard, standard Ducky there. And then a loan of three dice. Mighty Blow. Gets a, gets a KO. <laughs> and then his tackle guy without Mighty Blow. It's another KO, so three removals on the LOS. Looking looking good. Another knockdown there. 
but obviously uh, Ducky can't can't really foul a lot. Uh, he's, he's got 13 players, but obviously skinks aren't very disposable. They're easily removed by blitzers and stuff. So he's only really going to foul the claw palm here, isn't he? You know, because obviously the claw palm has the potential. All, all, all really Elliot has to do here is engineer two dice block to the claw palm and maybe a foul if he can. I think that should be his plan for the first half. Um, give up trying to stop the score because obviously he's down weight plays instantly. It's likely to snowball into removals. So just trying, you know, because it's it's hard for Ducky to like just stop, say, the troll blitzing here with Claw Mighty Blow. Um, I don't know if he's trying to blitz there or not, but he. Uh, oh, he's gonna he's gonna blitz with the uh, with the with the star, isn't he? And just hits a hits a skin. Maybe his plan was to get the guard in in here. Maybe the plan was to move the troll in here and then blitz blitz the Saurus. Because obviously if his plan was to hit him, maybe you would have done it with the tackle guy. I don't know. So obviously Ducky's wary of the wizard, which is why he... Uh, he, he uh, well, no, he, he, he moved him into position for high kick because he, he didn't want the, uh, the, the super skin getting put lightning bolt, did he? And just a big old, big old wall of guard here. So like, yeah, he's hitting the armor seven with mighty blow, which is uh, which is the right thing. Like, you know, that strength five Lino is a great player, but he's really fragile, isn't he? Just being a skaven and armor seven. Ah oh, well, the first the first turn was three removals of a ducky. That's all you missed. It just just blocks, just LOS blocks wrecked him. Gets the two dice claw palm only on a rookie, but he'll he'll take it. It's the pile. Does nothing. So at this point. It's uh, really favouring Ducky, isn't it? Because I, I'm, I'm not sure I like this because I think I would have maybe moved the troll over here to try try to protect him. Um, obviously, you know, he got a one dice block and then did some dodges. So I think maybe he's maybe he's getting the getting the troll around here to protect him from a foul and just also to let him get blocks in future. You know, he, he needs the guard. It's it's hard for the claw pump to even make blocks, although he's although he's terrifying, obviously for Ducky. Ah, that is a shame, one goblin. Um, this shouldn't be broken because I haven't changed anything. But I assume I should be thanking you for a reset. So thanks very much. <laughs> So he gets the troll knocked out by by basing him, by herb dirt basing with a troll. He got him knocked out, and then he used his apple to stun it, um, which was a bold apple. I mean that, which is fair enough. Look, it's the semi-finals. There's no point saving it for a perm or anything when you know he's not going to get there. <laughs> oh well, I'll I'll get it to work. Don't worry, one goblin. <laughs> He gets a mighty blow blitz in just to stun. So I mean that would have been a huge KO. So I'm 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 totally on board with Elliot appling that there, even though his fight for the drive is pretty much done. So maybe I'm not for it actually, because you you would imagine that uh, Duck he's going to get two Ducky's going to score on turn eight and he's going to get two chances to get that warpstone troll back. So maybe he shouldn't have. He could have cage dived here. He could have just faced this guy and uh, made a four plus dodge to two dice the ball. That might have been an idea. With block versus nothing, and then he could have maybe screened off something. It, it it might have been an idea to have gone for the cage dive there. Unfortunately, he's got to hang the uh, hang the claw pommer out to dry here, which is uh, not something he wanted to do, is it? So now, obviously, Ducky's going to blitz and foul him and try to lock everything else down as much as he can. 
Like, it's weird for Ducky because obviously he wants to push this advantage of the, of the three removals, but also he knows full well that this troll could just get a blitz and cast somebody or, or the air. Uh, but obviously he's... So he, he's getting locked down. The Glart's locked down against the strength five, the strength six crocs. And now he's going to try and take out the uh, claw palm. Surely. Yeah, I'm not sure about the apple on the troll actually, because he's got he, he, he hasn't got regen. It was a KO. Um, obviously, if it'd been a badly hurt, then do it. Oh, he's just gonna run away from the troll anyway, yeah, because he's he's got no one left to activate him. And then foul with a sidestep skink. Ah, strand him on a sidestep skink. Oh well, I've seen this game before as well. Believe it or not, <laughs> still don't know what he's gonna do. Didn't foul. Interesting. Because he, he can get a two dice on, on this really good player here. Like blood block mighty blow guards are a really good target to claw bomb, isn't it? I would have really thought about the greed reroll there. He's not but last turn he didn't go for the ball, so I I, I think he's completely given up. I think you know, I would reroll that, go for the removal. The troll stood up on his own, unassisted. But, uh, yeah, and he's because he, he just gave him the block there, didn't he? Straight up. He failed to remove a key target, and then obviously, as it happened, the next dice were just a push. But I, I, I wouldn't have hated the uh, the greed reroll there. Technically, yeah, I guess they should foul it again, but then also gutter runners should have better stats than they have if you want to go down the Warhammer route. So this time, he's, he definitely goes for the foul this time. Dodge away from the troll, though. One in nine to not be able to do it. Plus two foul. And it only stuns him. Yeah, he probably just means that Storm Vermin should be better because Storm Vermin are like, you know, incredible in the law. Mm. More powerful than just a block dude, <laughs> basically. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm actually not sold on this KO because he's not really trying to stop him. So he's going to get two chances to get him back on a three plus with a babes. So yeah, I think maybe he shouldn't have pulled that. But you know, look. who might criticize? Just some dude. <laughs> it does look like it, doesn't it? For who be real, it does look like it. Fails the dodge, gets KO'd. He used his re see, he used his reroll on that dodge, on that like random four plus dodge, which really wasn't doing anything. Uh, I guess protecting the claw from a hit. But I don't know. I'd like to have seen the uh, the reroll on the claw from hit. Foiled yet again. So yeah, it, it was to protect the claw. Which Ducky, maybe, maybe Ducky could have greeted that. Maybe he could have made a better cage here first and then greeted that hit. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe he's not even going to improve the cage. You could say he should have done these moves first, shouldn't he? And then gets a... Uh, gets a huge, huge removal with that KO. Yeah, exactly, he doesn't have enough killers. Or guard. It's really hard for him to get a, get a hit in, so... You know, obviously it was... Ducky was going to go for the permanent removal, but a KO is not good enough, really, because, again, it's 8 out of 9 to get him back for the second half. Ducky made a slight error here, I think. In that it's a strength four guy that's that's there, so the the troll can potentially blitz him. Whereas if if he'd uh, 
swap the position of the crocs in this guy he would have been completely safe I believe um, he does make the GFIs to hit him with claw mighty blow one GFI to hit which, which gets a two dice block for the uh, claw guy yeah, it was pretty much a double. It was pretty much a gym foul because the KO isn't going to cut it, is it? When when they're eight out of nine. Well, he, he got he got bomber as just an extra player. So like, it, look, it, it, this this is like basically every game that I play with uh, with every team. When I say, "Well, I'll probably win," but he's got a mighty blow guy, <laughs> and that's it, isn't it? You know, he's got claw mighty blow on the troll. The troll, it, he, he's in a pickle because he can make blocks with his strength five guy, but he's got nothing. He can make blocks with his troll guy, but his troll guy is really stupid and his only guard. And then it, it's pretty difficult to get hits in with his claw palm. And he only has tackle to hit skinks with. He doesn't have tackle mighty blow or anything. So he re-rolls this one. So he agreed re-rolls that one. Um, which doesn't have any any punch to it. You can hit this uh, this strength 5 guy now, can't you? With the, uh, with the troll. I think I would have... Oh, yeah, I remember saying on the stream, I would have saved my greed reroll for the troll, even though the troll has loner, just because he's hitting with nothing, right? He, he could have hit him, pushed him pushed him away, and then uh, come here, and then he could have two-diced him with a troll. And I, I would have I would have greeted the trolls hit just because Claw Mighty Blow is so much better than just nothing. And it's also a, a better target, isn't it? A huge target. Strength 5, block guard, stand firm is way better than a rookie, so... I think I would have maybe saved my saved my reroll the greed that. So yeah, so so Ducky got the three removals on the LOS, and since then hasn't done a whole lot. Just KOs, which are all coming back, almost certainly. There's the first half. Nobody really did much wrong, I would say. I think both played pretty well. Obviously, Elliot did gave up on stopping the score, which I think was the right play. You know, try to try to cause some attrition with his, uh, with his team to give him a shot in the second half. Because if he's not men up, he's he's in bad shape, isn't he? Uh, he does get the one turn chance with a with a troll throwing a goblin. Technically, he could chain push movement seven, but it's very tough. And obviously, against two stand firm and all his strength and guard, getting the pushes is is basically impossible. As close to impossible as as you could say. Um, so he's obviously going to go for the the goblin throw, uh, the troll throw in the goblin. D what Ducky does here is obviously he's torn between. He could try to defend the landing spot, seeing as he's got two heads on the team. He, Dougie can't read, you know, there's no point backlining it. But he could try and do, defend the landing spot because they're only agility three. Um, instead, he chooses to protect his, you know, expose the the unskilled Saurus to hits and tries to protect the good guys and the skinks a little bit. Um, but, you know, he just didn't try to stop the score at all, did he? Which, uh, which is maybe bad. I don't know exactly what the optimal positioning to score a score a throw teammate is, uh, where you guys should be or anything. Quick snap though, that really helps him because he can move this guy forward, this guy across, this guy back, so that he could um, 
you know, you could think about where he's going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah, so I'd move this guy. Move the troll back and him forward or something. So you could you could do something anyway to make it a bit more likely, I think. Maybe not, because he, he couldn't throw from there, could he? So, but he did. He didn't. It did mean that the quick snap meant that he got to hit a. Well, he was always going to hit the skip scheme with tackle, but it means that he actually does get a claw on hit, which he wouldn't have otherwise got. Maybe that's why he set them up this side so that he could. Well, he, I guess he could have done the blitz, the strength five or something. But uh, he ends up getting that, and if he doesn't pile on, he gets another block. Got a pile, haven't you? Piling is better than just blocking with a uh, claw. With a loner as well. Gets a KO. Throws the. Throws the goblin. And he's just in range. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like that. I think I would have. Uh, I think I would have tried to, you know, cheer fight hand off to the other goblin. And uh I think he could have, you know, saved a couple of squares on the on the toss there. But I, I don't know, it's it's hard to say it was wrong because, you know, I don't know what exactly what the odds are of the of the goblin. Because the goblins are quite fast, aren't they, moving six. So he's got better odds than like halfling or ogres of getting him in range. So maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't need the extra two squares that he could have got on the throw, uh, especially as he would just have to make GFIs to get to get to them there. And the kill did stay out. So despite all the attrition that, that Ducky did in the first half, um, the only player down the Elliot was was a guy who would have been sent off anyway, who he only he only induced to get punched on the LOS anyway. And Ducky is down a Saurus and a sidestep. Off a skink, which obviously isn't a huge deal, um, but now Ducky's down to eleven. You know, eleven. No, no reserves anymore. Whereas Elliot still has a reserve. I mean, it's tricky. It's tricky for Ducky because if if he puts all the high strength on the LOS, it might get cracked. And um, if he puts the low strength on the LOS, it definitely gets cracked because you know he's got guard. And he's got strength four and strength five. As it happens, he does go with the strength on the LOS, which can get cracked. You put the troll in the middle, uh, strength five here, can two dice him, needs a pow. But if he gets that pow, then uh, Glart can hit this guy on two dice, and then the troll can hit this guy with these two assists. So you, you can potentially crack the LOS. So Ducky went with this really strong LOS. Uh, it's arguable you know whether it was right or wrong um, you, you know you can't who's to say what's right and what's wrong obviously you could and then he gets to claw upon a, a rookie but only a rookie or he gets to tackle a skink I think I would claw upon a Saurus personally every time so he, d he does do it slightly different to me but it's, it's the same kind of idea if he gets the power, then the troll hits, and then he gets two dice with uh, with Glad. So straight, straight in for the claw palm. S safe, safe moves first. He's already facing the ball, so just get the claw palm hit in. All right, brings another guy back for the ball. Doesn't even doesn't even follow, which is fair enough because if he followed, he could have got isolated, or you know, uh, blitz with mighty blow, and he could have also been fouled. So that was absolutely fine, I think, to hit him. Right? Claw mighty blow hit makes a Kaz huge. It perms him with a minus movement or something. So Ducky. I pose it, but he only gets missed next game, so he doesn't come back. So now he's down two Saurus. With the claw hit to come. Claw 
I'll get to the pow. And a KO. Massive, massive KO. So now, <laughs> you know, he, he got this... He got this Saurus, the removal on the on turn turn eight, and then turn nine two removal. So now Ducky's three men down effectively. He's actually only two. But he's still got nine players on the pitch, but he's lost kind of the three players that uh, Ducky lost. That that he lo like sorry, Ducky's lost the kind of three players that Elliot lost. The only difference is losing Saurus and Crocs is much much more damaging than losing some <laughs> some crap goblins no one cares about. So now, now it becomes very scary for Ducky because Ducky still wants to protect his skinks, but also he wants to he wants to protect his Saurus as well, doesn't he? And now the claw can can go to work, can't it? Really, I'm not even sure I'd have made that block. I think I would have gone for the the, the troll one straight up, straight away, not not even caring, just because he's got claw, hasn't he? He elects to go for the two dice with tackle rather than the claw palm. Um, I mean, it's fair because he gets stuck. That's the thing. He doesn't want to get his claw palm stuck and not be able to use him, does he? So, because he didn't have a, a good two, uh, like a clean two dice hit with the claw palm, um, he just wants to blitz a skink with tackle, which is fair enough. It is, yes, Dr. Momos. After the first turn, who would have thought it would have ended? It would have like come to this where he's on the back foot against really a, a horrible looking under, uh, underworld outfit. You know, all the underworld has is a claw mighty blow, a claw palm, and a claw star player. That's really the entire team. <laughs> I guess the strength five is, is good for getting two dices and uh, you know, but still. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Jelly. When you've got Claw, it's uh, it's a lot easier to, to hit the to make blocks against the Saurus, really, isn't it? That's the thing. You know, the good players protect their skins. Ducky had to protect them both. That was the, this is the this game basically sums up the pros and cons of Lizardmen. The first turn they were just completely overwhelming with their strength advantage, um, but then the second half he's made some removals because Claw mighty blow and. Uh, and you know it's it's not good for not good for the uh, the whatever they're called <laughs> um, lizard men right now. I'm not sure about that block as well. That the blitz, I think I would have blitzed the skin on on three dice. Could have blitz from here, hit the skink on three dice. Oh, I could still, still this was a rookie. Could have hit there on three dice, then he could have two dice with a claw palm. Um this guy, I think that's what I would have done. But uh you know the edge guy is a good one to go for, isn't he? Especially three dice with claw. And then because he you know and then he would have had two assists so he could have hit just back the bear. I think that would have been the play. Yeah. Oh he's a strength for anyway, yeah. I don't know, I didn't I didn't like a one dice there. Ducky just casual. <laughs> his, his, uh, his lizards can't block, so a, so a skin gets a Kaz. Casual. And then he goes for the one dice, which was risky, wasn't it, against Claw Mighty Blow? I mean, it only fails in a one, sure, but Ducky's got to be, I don't know, does, is he thinking about overtime? Is he thinking, do I stop him or do I, what do I do, you know? He's got the ball right back. Um, let's pause it so the camera doesn't move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI, GFI. So he's got the ball just really far back. It's still turn twelve, so he's got to, he's got to start moving at some stage. Just goes again goes for the tackle rather than the claw pump somewhere, but again it's hard to get a claw pump hit. Do you just go for a block mighty blow hit on the skin, or do you go for the more reliable tackle knockdown? I guess you go for the more reliable tackle. Gets lucky with the cars, it's it's not easy to to cast skinks even when you've got mighty blow to be fair so you know 
but then obviously Ducky made Ducky did get three removals on his first turn as well, so it's fair enough like you can do things. He moves moves forward the uh moves forward this this thrower just a little bit, doesn't he? Just moves him forward a little bit. And uh and he's got a loose screen here. And this is where Ducky sees a great opportunity. And he dodges through the tackle zone with his Anch 4. A couple of GFIs. Bases up some people. Dodges through there. GFI rolls the 1. Now a huge decision whether to continue with a hit. Maybe he shouldn't have moved all safe moves first. Maybe if he'd saved this guy, he could have blitzed him instead. But he, he's all in. He makes the GFI and the dodge to hit the ball. Gets the pal. Gets the knockdown. Gets the catch. What a sick move by Ducky. Now here, he he makes the re now he made he's made the really stupid roll there. Now if I was Elliot, I would have wizarded here for sure. I don't know whether I would have fireballed or whether I would have bolted, but I think this is incredibly greedy to not, like, you know, if he scores on turn 8 here, he just wins 2-1, right? Barring the one-turner. And the one-turner is is unreliable being uh, movement, uh, being agility 3 and having uh, you know, having having the skinks have have stunties that have the minds one of passing. So even though he's got an agility four skink, the 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 getting the ball to the movement ten guy isn't always going to be easy as well. And just dodging through a standard back line is, you know, although it's three pluses, it's still three plus, isn't it? You know, it's 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 certainly not a nailed on one turner. So if I was Elliot here, I think fine. I either fireball or bolt. The fireball has huge potential in that, you know, you might knock him down. Um and you might get all of his skinks. Obviously, though, the bolt is the safe play that you know most people would go for, be because you know you're only f although he hasn't got block, he's fifty five percent. He's still only fifty five percent of knocking down because he hasn't got tackle. So uh, it is incredibly bold, or greedy, bold, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I, I thought that was outrageous that he didn't he didn't use the wizard there. He gets the knockdown and see that because the bounce could have gone here or here. And then he feels bad, doesn't he? So that's why I think the fireball would have been good. Wouldn't, wouldn't have been a bad option. But he gets a godly scatter here, and he manages to recover. So that he, he you know, it paid off in being him being greedy, paid off massively. But wow, that was I thought that was something else. <laughs> I thought that was something else there. I think he should have. I think he, you know, I think he should have gone for that. I would I would have hundred percent gone for the wizard. I think it was the right play to go for the wizard, but this this was more high risk high reward, wasn't it? Because now, well, it's not high risk high reward. It's high risk um, with a unquantifiable reward. No, it's it's not deserved to lose. No, I can't feel it. it. It's high risk with an unquantifiable reward. I think I would have blitzed the air strength five here because he's armor seven. Um, sure, he's he's getting to three dice. A defenseless player, but I think you know, knocking him out would have been good, and then he could have hit the uh, claw guy. Um, I don't know. I think I think I would have done it that way. Not to say that Ducky's wrong, but yeah, it was it was high risk, unquantifiable reward, wasn't it? He, he keeps his he keeps his. Uh, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Chelio, but you know he, he does keep it for later turns, so. He, he he does have a reward there by not bowling, um, but he's really running out of time to score now, isn't he? He goes for this block. I would have maybe blitzed the uh, the edge four guy, and then just caged up, you know, with the with the cage con in contact maybe, because you know just the agility four skin is disgusting, isn't it? It can dodge around on two pluses. I think I would. Have, I think I, I, I said when I was live, when it was live. I said I would have blitzed this guy and then just you know. The ball could have been here, couldn't it? And he was still been in range, uh, which is where he went to. He could have had, he could have left that guy based. I don't know. I just, I just wanted to. I would have tried to take him out. Now, obviously, he happened to get a Kaz on the skin, which was lucky. 
But I would just want him controlled anyway, just because he's the edge four guy and he's he's a real pain in the pain in the ass. Now, Ducky frees up the break tackle guy straight away. And the break tackle has, has a shot here, isn't he? Five plus to get in. Uh, there's no guard because he doesn't have any guard, so he couldn't put any guard in the cage. Makes the five plus, gets two dice on the ball with a reroll, gets the pow. And huge scatter for Ducky. I mean, it could have gone five out of eight, weren't really great with it, but that's a god scatter for Ducky. Picks it up, he's off. And he could have stalled here, couldn't he? Um, apart from the wizard, though. But still, I. Hmm. I don't know. If he stalls. Maybe he goes to overtime. If he gets bolted. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if, the, if the stall was right there. Or maybe, like, run back around to protect it with his own players. I, d I don't really know if, if the touchdown was right. Um. But, you know, obviously, I think everybody would have gone for the touchdown. You know, I think you, you think, oh, wow, I can score here and, and just go for it. It's 2-1 up. Um, uh, no, no, Tom Van Hill, no. I'm just, just doing this to get it on the YouTubes. Uh, so, yeah, so, like, I think everybody would have gone for the touchdown. Because, um, obviously, two turns. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Jelly, as as that is, uh, yeah, exactly, Elliot. Yeah, because that was his game plan, isn't he? He's pretty much got to get lucky to deal with this nineteen eighty uh, TV lizard man team, whatever it is. And you know, he's he's certainly he's got he's got pretty lucky. Well, very lucky on the skink removals. The skink send off was fine. So I think Ducky made two or three fouls, and uh, just one Saurus Kaz. You could argue is unlucky to this point. Um, he doesn't take much attrition, but then again, Ducky hasn't got a very violent team, only three mighty blow. Um, and he's still got a two-turn chance, and he's got movement seven, you know? It's not it's not crazy to two-turn, especially as Ducky doesn't have that much play, that many players to stop him now, does he? Three, six, seven, eight players. So, I really don't like giving people the chance to two-turn. But, I, I, you know, again, I can see why Ducky went for the touchdown. I think most people would have gone for the touchdown in that situation. And, uh, yeah. It's not to say it's wrong to go for the touchdown at all, but it did give him the chance to turn, whereas if he could have stalled it somehow, um, he'd be more alive. But then the wizard, the wizard's a huge factor, you know. He, he, but then I guess if, it, if it's 1 1, he still gets, goes to overtime, doesn't he? But then this way, he gets the chance to win it in normal. I'm going to stop going on whether he should have stalled or not, because I didn't think it was that big a deal at the time. I just thought, oh, shit, he can score. But now that I think about it, I think maybe he could have, or maybe he should have tried to stall. But, right, I'll shut up. <laughs> I'm going on and on and on. So again, he doesn't use the uh, claw palm, he uses the tackle at the blitz, doesn't get a knockdown even. Um. I, I don't know one goblin, I imagine so, I imagine so. Um, yeah, so, you know, all he's got to do is pick it up and hand it off. And Ducky left the, the, the wings exposed. He's got two two heads guys to go and try and mark people. He doesn't risk the dodge away here. He risks this block. I didn't like this block because on a push, he can free up a, another Saurus here, Ducky. So I, I really didn't like making this block. Uh, I would have probably started this goblin here and uh, you know not cared about making that block. I thought it was a pretty greedy block, but again as as Jellyel said, um, you know, he was all about making going for the variance, trying to get lucky with the core hits. So Ducky's got Ducky's got a good good you know set of stuff in the way here. Um Obviously, the bolt's going to come in on the side stepper because it, it's Ducky's, you know, main threat of scoring down when down players. Main, main threat of scoring anyway, you know. Unbelievable ball handler, so the bolt's going to come in straight away. So he did get the payoff. Um, but then on the other hand, he might have just powered him anyway, you know. So it's... Uh... Oh, and he failed a dodge and got KO'd. So that was very unlucky, wasn't it? Which a dodge that he couldn't have even tried if if he had set up like I would have done, which would have been putting him there. So never mind, <laughs> that worked out for him. So yeah, both both the skin. Uh, it doesn't get an armor break. He gets the core hit. He should have followed up here, and I'll tell I'll tell you for why. If he follows up, then this 
this character, what can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This guy can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? <laughs> and then he can get three dice with a claw palm hit. Um, but as it is, he just goes for a two dice because for him to assist, he w he then would have to push him into the ball, so he could only he had to push this way and. Uh, you know, he, he wanted to push into that square, didn't he? To, uh, to clear the tackle zone. But he gets the Kaz, which is pretty lucky. But especially as he only made it two dice instead of three. But, you know. Just a minor thing, but something that he could have he could have done. And obviously had no effect in the end, because he got the knockdown with two dice anyway. And then makes the touchdown, so it's 2-2. Two, two. And we're going overtime, unless... Ducky gets a one turn with his movement 10 guy. With not many other players. <laughs> I think one skin to get the ball to him. And lo lose, lost the agility four as well. Yeah, the troll block. Yeah, he's, he's got block. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't have risked the first troll block, never mind the second one. But fair enough, you know, he thinks he's gotta thinks he's gotta get lucky, doesn't he? Yeah, this is this is like any team's gonna gonna well, okay, the the skinks got Kaz because they were skinks. To be fair. <laughs> and you know, they could have been in a much worse state. He's got lucky with this tackle guy, but he was like what, four hundred T V down? More? Five hundred T V down? Um he could have easily just had Mighty Blow piling on on this guy, and then this would have been expected. <laughs> so, right. Ducky gets an extra reroll, which is pretty huge, isn't it? So if you pause it here, now he's 2-2 two, two, two on the rerolls. He went with kind of the standard, the standard uh, one-turn defense that I do here, but the problem is, Ducky has Frenzy. So, Having what them one back in this situation is absolutely horrible, horrible setup, because it gives Ducky the push, second push, pushes him to there, and he gets a sidestep. He can then push him again, so he doesn't need the second push, but he can get the second push, and even possibly a third push he can get from him. So he's not only has he made it incredibly easy to get the pushes, also he he's not in a tackle zone to receive it. So. Um, yeah, and he's just got to pick it up. Now, oh, it was it, he had to go laterally, so he, he I think he had eight squares back, and he double ones the GFI and gets injured. So wow, that is what a horrible way of falling at the first hurdle, um, and he had to do that first while he wasn't in a tackle zone. So that was that was really unfortunate for Ducky. Um, now, obviously, had he failed to pick up other hand off, you'd be fair enough. Um, but to lose a reroll and and fail like that obviously sucks. So now we go to overtime. The knocked out guy finally comes back. That's horrors. Who've been chilling the whole game. Who's gonna win the toss? So Elliot wins the toss and Dougie has to defend. Well, Fluffy Brito, you, you know, he was 450 TV down, 500 TV down, something like that. Um, you can argue, you can definitely argue that he was right to play the way he did. How much was he down? Uh, Glart's about 250 or something, isn't he? Is it? Is it on the... Is it on the player? No. I don't know how much I don't know how much Glart is. Two ten or two two forty or two fifty, something like that. Two sixty maybe. And then sixty for the bomber and fifty for the babes. So he was like you he, he, and, and hundred and fifty for the wizard. So two sixty he was like what, four sixty, five hundred ish T V down. Um so yeah, you know. And he ha you know, he's he's got a claw and, and mighty blow on that. Wow, blitz from Ducky. Lucky Ducky, but he's he's out of players really to, to capitalise on the blitz, isn't he? 
He's really just hanging on at this point. It, un unbelievably, all the skinks have been removed from like a GFI. Yeah, 210. Yeah, I thought he was 210. So, he was 270 TV down. And then, sure enough, the one dodge that the, <laughs> that the super skink makes, he fails. In the entire map. Oh no, he made a dodge through there. So it was the second dodge he made and he failed. But I mean, he, he made some other dodges uh, with other skinks. But I thought I thought at the time that was the first dodge he made, but he did make the dodge to hit the ball. Um, but yeah, you know, that, that's the thing. He's just agility three, isn't he? So, you know. Yeah, he fails knock down block then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a normal block as well. Yeah, crazy. And that's the crazy thing, and then, yeah, he gets he gets that shame to not get knocked down, isn't he? You know, seventy five percent knockdown. He's obviously got to foul this skink, hasn't he? Uh, because that's the only threat, uh, really. Like, although the Saurus, the break tackle Saurus is out. No, he's not. The frenzy break tackle Saurus, who didn't knock down Glart, gets blocked back by Glart. And now he gets it. <laughs> um, so now the break, he doesn't have to worry about the break tackle at all. So he can just leave these based. And they're not going to do anything. Um, and he can just foul the, the one skin that he's doing. So, yeah, it's looking really bad for Duffy right now. Gets a gym foul in. <laughs> but at least, at least he stuns him. Yeah, exactly. That is, that's the thing, Fluffy Bird. It really does sum up the good and the bad things about Lizards. You know, he, he had dominant pitch control first half, but then second half he lost a few, and then the skinks got hit. And sure, they were lucky hits because he didn't have 90 below, and one was a GFI fail. But uh, that, that, that's how they work, isn't it? You know, if you, if you, if you lose a few Saurus, things can go south very quickly. <laughs> takes, takes the both down. And it's it's the Saurus that gets knocked out, not the goblin. <laughs> I mean that's just obviously just dice there. Um, but yeah, I mean this is it's easy to just tag these three guys, isn't it, and then foul him and move around. Or you could full cage up so that he could only minus three dice you. And just tag these guys. You don't I mean you don't even need to hit them, obviously he's gonna hit them. Maybe he could have full caged so it was minus three dice to hit him. Also, at this point, I'd think about who I want to level up. And uh, I'd be really confident at this stage as Elyard. Another Kaz. And uh, yeah, look, he's 14, so I, I would have scored with this Blitzer personally. I would have. Uh, yeah, the both down KO, yeah, I'd probably wish somebody left. I, I'd try and score with this guy. He should have moved the ball. Did he move the ball? He moved the ball back. Hmm. I guess he's got all half. Another gym foul. Which is not what he needs, is he? He really wanted to remove that skink with the two huge fouls. But. Strength six crocs, just smashing the strength five line up. I mean, really, Ducky's got three players and one's stunned. <laughs> does he stop fouling or does he continue fouling? I mean, he doesn't need to protect them, but then I guess he's got to be wary. He's got to double base the crocs because you don't want the crocs putting a tackle zone on the ball. So I guess, yeah, you just go and uh, cage up here. But he moved, he moved this goblin to an irrelevant position. Uh, obviously, he should have gone for like the YouTube cage here, as some people call it. And, uh, you know, make it so that the skin can only minus three dice in. But I, I can see he doesn't, you know, he wants to protect his guys as much as possible and stuff. It's fair enough. It's the same as Ducky, you know, not trying to stop the one turn. He, he, he doesn't want his guys to get splattered by the mighty blows who are still around. 
Which it still happens, <laughs> funnily enough. Uh, but yeah, he's got two dice on the board here, Ducky, hasn't he? Uh, I'm going to say two dice. Uphill two dice. Um, as it happens, he rolls a skull. But, you know, he, that that was that was kind of poor. You know, he, he should have made it so it was a minus three, I think. When he's got such a man advantage. And this, this one really did, didn't do anything. Maybe he could have marked him with a tackle guy, but then he's he's still got four, so he can still just make a, a tight cage this time. He can learn his lesson and and make a tight cage, so it's going to be minus three. But he doesn't. He still keeps this this formation. So after just getting double red diced, he uh, he lets him double red dice him again to to hit this uh, to hit this Crocs, which is ultimately irrelevant, isn't it? Like. I didn't like I didn't like that that he gave him another uphill, another two uphill. It should have been three dice. Absolutely should have been three dice. But you know, I guess look, you you, you can't you can't you can't put too much blame on Elliot here at this point. He's got a fifteen hundred underworld team and he's he's about to beat Ducky in the playoffs. Um so you know, he's obviously you know, ev ev all of us when we're dominating a game take off off the gas a bit and make some bad decisions and uh you know, because you think you've won, basically. I would, you know, it's a, it's a shame for him that he hasn't removed this guy because with him on the pitch, he can't really go for the, a super safe handoff, can he? And especially as it takes so many people to fight the Crocs and the uh, other guy, Saurus. That's what he is. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was David and Goliath, but David had a gun instead of a <laughs> instead of a sling. But mostly it was the Saurus, wasn't it? But I mean, uh, the Skinks. But then once he got the Skinks out, he was then able to uh, have the men advantage to be able to get hits on the Saurus, which then removed the Saurus. That's it. GG. Unbelievable, Jeff. I mean, may maybe he could have, you know, tried to foul and stuff and tried to hand it off to the. Tackler. I would have really wanted to get Claw on the tackler for 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 against Christopher or Mighty Blow, you know Mighty Blow to hunt the uh, hobgoblins maybe, or Claw just to be another can opener. I guess he's going to get glad, so maybe he maybe he could have gone for Mighty Blow. Maybe he sh maybe he should have tried for the the hand the hand off there, but obviously I can see why he wouldn't dare because he somehow beat Ducky three two. After going one nil behind and getting three removals on the LOS, so that was a that was just like Crucifer's game. It was a hell of a comeback, uh, three two, unbelievable, and uh, congratulations to Elliot, commiserations to Ducky, and uh, yes, yeah, so the final is roughly fifteen hundred Underworld versus roughly two thousand Chaos Dwarves. So, <laughs> while this has been a, a David and Goliath, the next round is even bigger. But again, he's going to have that factor of he's got some close and mighty blow and some piling on. No, nowhere near as BS. It, it, wasn't, it wasn't that much BS. It really just demonstrated the pros and cons of lizard men, you know? He, uh, absolutely, he, he, he had a outstanding pitch control, but then once it started going badly, it snowballed, and uh, you, you've always got a chance if you're hitting, if you're hitting incredibly good players with claw pop, you know, and you can just make some removals. He got he got lucky with the tackle, the tackle hits, to be fair, and obviously the GFI, but it wasn't that crazy, really. It it wasn't as crazy as it looked before the match, you know. Uh, the, the strength four claw is a really good star player, and and they both played well, you know. There was a few, the few things that maybe the wizard I thought was greedy. Uh, you know the odd thing here and there by both coaches that were maybe, you know, Ducky's decision to protect players rather than try to stop the one turner, stuff like that. You know, you could, but then, who who knows what it was? Um, by and large, they played they played well, and the the final isn't scheduled yet, um, but yes, it will be. It will be Christopher versus Elliot. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.